Hey there guys, it's Delta49er here with a tutorial on how to install the auto switch mod for Minecraft 1.6.2. Now you want to make sure that Minecraft is closed and then go into your web browser and go to the files.minecraftforge.net page and download the recommended 1.6.2 installer. And wait for the skip add button to come up at the top right. And click skip add. Then save that on your desktop. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the bombs ends mods forum thread, which is also linked in the description. And you want to scroll down to where you see auto switch and then click the download button here. And under download, right click the bombs end API link and click open tab. And then click the download auto switch version for Minecraft 1.6.2 link and wait for the skip add button to show up as well and click skip add and save that on your desktop now go to the other tab you had open before and download the bombs and API and then wait for the add fly page and wait for the skip add button in the top right and click skip add and then save that on your desktop as well. Now you can see I have the three files on my desktop here and you want to double click the Minecraft Forge installer, make sure the install client radio button is selected and then click OK and click OK again. If you did not get that dialog then you want to single click it then right click it then click open with and make sure Java platform SE binary is selected and click OK. Uh, that'll just make sure that it opens with Java and gives you the correct install dialog. Now you want to open the Minecraft launcher, select the Forge profile from the profile drop down menu, and re authenticate by clicking play. Then click the big play button to start up Minecraft. And once it opens, you should see that Minecraft Forge is loaded, and then press quit game. Now, Press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard and type percent %APPDATA% percent and click OK. Then go to your .minecraft folder and find your mods folder and you want to drag the two folders that you downloaded, the two zip folders, the auto switch folder and the bombs and API folder and drag them into the mods folder and then you can close that and we'll go into Minecraft and test it out. Make sure the Forge profile is selected and click play. And then you should see that there's five mods loaded. You should see that these mods are loaded here. And let's just try it out in a random single player world. And we'll just see, I'm not pressing any keys on my keyboard, I'm just mining these blocks. And that is how it works. So if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And of course, if you did find this helpful, like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.